Hello students. So today I will be presenting a topic uh, uh, for finding inverse of a matrix using Gauss elimination method. So let me first give a brief idea about what an inverse of a matrix is and uh, some of the necessary condition for finding inverse of a matrix. And then with some uh, standard example, we will apply Gauss elimination method to find inverse of a matrix. So let us consider uh, matrix A which is an M by M matrix that means the number of rows and the number of columns are uh, same or equal. So it is a square matrix with equal rows and columns. So for example, let us consider a 2 by 2 matrix. So it can be written as A is equal to 3, 1, 2, 5. So it has 2 rows and 2 columns. Similarly, a 3 by 3 square matrix will be of this form with 3 rows and 3 columns. And if I is the identity matrix of the same order M by M as that of the previous matrices we discussed either a 2 by 2 matrix or 3 by 3 matrix or M is equal to 2 or 3 respectively, then we have the identity matrix of the same order I2, a 2 by 2 identity matrix or I3, a 3 by 3 identity matrix. Then if there exists a matrix B of same order such that the product of a and B that is AB or the product of B and A that is BA results in the identity matrix I of the same order M by M then the matrix B is said to be inverse of the matrix A or vice versa. So for a matrix to have an inverse there are certain conditions and inverse exists only for square matrix but not all square matrix will have inverse only square matrices for which the determinant is non-zero will have inverse and if a square matrix has an inverse it is called as non-singular matrix a matrix that does not have an inverse is a singular matrix So now let us present the method of Gauss elimination to find the inverse of a matrix if there uh, exists. If A is a M by M matrix, a square matrix with equal rows and columns and let B be a square matrix of same order, then it has to satisfy this relation A into B will give the corresponding identity matrix. For example, here I have considered a 2 by 2 matrix A with the elements 3, 1, 2 and 5 and we do not know the inverse of A. So let us denote the inverse of A as B which is equal to A, B, C and D. So we need to determine the elements of B. So if A and B is multiplied and if it results in the identity matrix of the same order then we can say this matrix as the inverse of B sorry A. Similarly, if we have a 3 by 3 matrix A defined by these elements 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 2, 4, 7 and then if B is a matrix having elements given as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and if this is satisfied the product of A and B gives the corresponding identity matrix of the same order then we can say B is the inverse of A. This product expression uh, highlighted by this uh, red uh, circle can be expressed into two separate uh, system of equations as shown here. That means uh, the matrix A should be multiplied by the first column of the inverse matrix which should be equal to the first column of the identity matrix. So this would result in two system of equations involving two unknowns A and C. Similarly, the matrix A multiplied by the second column of the inverse matrix should be equal to the second column of the identity matrix resulting in two simultaneous equations with two unknowns B and D. So once we have two equations with two unknowns, we can determine the unknowns in any method. For example, in this 3 by 3 method, so if you uh, express this product into three separate equations, that would result in 
the first equation as the matrix A multiplied by the first column of matrix B containing the elements A, D, G which should be equal to the first column of the identity matrix that is 1, 0, 0. Similarly, the second equation would result in as a product of A matrix multiplied by the second column of the B matrix that is B, E, H. It should be equal to the second column of the identity matrix that is 0, 1, 0. So likewise, we will have the third set of equation where we have the A matrix multiplied with the column, third column of the inverse matrix C, F, I which should be equal to the third column of the identity matrix 0, 0, 1. So now let us consider uh, the first column of the inverse matrix and the A matrix whose product that is A into the first column of the inverse matrix A, D, G will give the first column of the identity matrix 1, 0, 0. So we will have three simultaneous linear equations involving three unknowns A, D, G and the corresponding constants on the other side. So if we have a set of simultaneous equation with the three unknowns, we can write the augmented matrix uh, form of this set of equation as 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 4, 0, 2, 4, 7, 0. That is the coefficients attached to the unknowns is written first and then the constant matrix is written here. Once if we construct the augmented matrix, then we can use the Gauss elimination procedure. So according to Gauss elimination procedure, we have to reduce this augmented matrix into an upper triangular form. So in the first stage of elimination, we need to eliminate these two elements. That means we need to make these two elements to zero. Then we have to choose the corresponding multiplier for eliminating this element to zero and corresponding multiplier to eliminate this element to zero. So once we choose the corresponding multiplier, we have to multiply this equation one with this multiplier and add it to equation two. Similarly, we have to multiply equation 1 with the multiplier minus 2 and add it to equation 3. So after the first stage of elimination, uh, the first row will remain same, there will be no change. Then these two elements will become 0. That means we multiplied equation 1 with minus 1 and added it to equation 2 that would result in 0, 1, 2, minus 1. Similarly, we have multiplied equation 1 with the multiplier minus 2 and added it to third equation that results in 0, 2, 3, minus 2. So this is the first stage of elimination in Gauss elimination procedure. So in the second stage of elimination, we need to make this element to 0 so as to make an upper triangular form of the given system of equation. So for eliminating this element to 0, we choose a multiplier and this multiplier is to be multiplied with equation 2 and added it to equation 3. So after second stage of elimination, the first row will remain same. The second row will remain same as that of the first stage of elimination as 1, 2, minus 1. And this element will get eliminated to 0 and these two elements get changed to minus 1 and 0. So now we have reduced the augmented matrix into an upper triangular form. Now, if we have a upper triangular matrix, then we can use the back substitution procedure to find the unknowns G, D and A. So first we find the G, so that is minus G is equal to 0 and hence G is equal to 0. And if we know the value of G, we can immediately find the value of D from this equation. So we have D plus 2G is equal to minus 1. Since G is 0, we substitute here g as 0, so d will be equal to minus 1. So now we have computed the value of g and d. So once g and d is known, we can substitute in the first equation to find the value of a. So the first equation reads as a plus d plus 2g is equal to 1. So substituting d as minus 1 and g as 0, so we have this equation a minus 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 and hence a is equal to 2. So the unknown for this system of equations A, D, G is obtained as 2, minus 1 and 0. 
So now we have solved the first set of equation. So we have to solve the remaining two sets to find the value of V E H and C F I. So the point to note here is in all the three set of equation only the unknown matrix unknown column matrix will change and the constant matrix will change the coefficient matrix will remain same just to distinguish uh, uh, the slide uh, from the previous slide i have used another color so now we have considered this set of equation involving the unknowns b e h and the constant matrix 0 1 0 so if you construct the simultaneous equations corresponding to this matrix we get b plus e plus 2 h is equal to 0 b plus 2 e plus 4 h is equal to 1 2 b plus 4 e plus 7 h is equal to 0 so this equation is almost the same as that of the previous equation uh, only thing is the unknown uh, got changed and the constant matrix got changed so now once we have this set of simultaneous equation we can immediately construct the augmented matrix the augmented matrix almost remains the same for the first three uh, columns and the last column gets changed to the constant matrix 0 1 0 hence the remaining calculation is uh, almost uh, easy because just we use the same procedure same multiplier for eliminating these elements only change will occur in the last column the rest of the things will remain same as that of the previous slide so after first stage of elimination we have eliminated those two these two elements to zero and the change uh, in the last column uh, there is no change and in the second stage of elimination we choose a multiplier minus two and we perform uh, uh, the operation to eliminate this element to zero so finally we get a upper triangular form uh, with appropriate changes in the last column so once if we reach to this stage now uh, we can by find by back substitution the values of the unknowns b e h and we first find the value of h so from this equation we see minus h is equal to minus 2 and hence the value of h is 2 so once if we know the value of h we can substitute back in this equation to find the value of e so e plus 2 h is equal to 1 and if we substitute the value of h is 2 so we get e plus 4 is equal to 1 so if you take the 4 on the other side we get 1 minus 4 and hence resulting in the value of e as minus 3 so now we have determined the value of h as 2 and e as minus 3 now we substitute h and e in first equation to find the value of b so the first equation reads as b plus e plus 2 h is equal to 0 and hence substituting for e and h we have b minus 3 plus 4 is equal to 0 or b plus 1 is equal to 0 or b is equal to minus 1 and hence after performing second stage of calculation we found the values of the column matrix b e h as minus 1 minus 3 and 2. So we repeat the same procedure as we did uh, in the previous two slides uh, for finding CFI that would result in value of CFI as 0, 2 and minus 1. So now we have determined uh, the unknown uh, column matrices of the inverse that is the first column matrix ADG as 2, minus 1 and 0 and B E H as minus 1, minus 3 and 2 and C F I as 0, 2, minus 1. So therefore the inverse matrix B is given as B is equal to the corresponding A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I will be suitably replaced with the now determined values that is 2, minus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 3 and 2 and 0, 2 and minus 1. So once if you determine the inverse of any matrix make sure that you just multiply with the given matrix a and see whether you get the corresponding identity matrix of the same order so here i have given uh, four problems so try to find the inverse of the following matrices using gauss elimination procedure and submit your answers latest by the coming friday